It's just, just another Shark Man podcast. podcast. Hello and welcome to Just Another Shark Man Podcast, your chance to plug into all the latest news, movies and events in the Shark Man film franchise. My name's Jack, I'm getting my tan on and I'm with my best friend, it's Ferg. Hey listeners, how's it going? We're on this great holiday. Hiding, Um, so we're in hiding. Yes. Uh, because we really messed up two weeks ago yeah, so uh, at the big rooftop summer screening that we organised. Yeah, yeah, so I, so I don't know if you guys have been listening, how intently you've been listening in the last couple of weeks, but yeah, a couple of weeks ago we had that big screening and it was so great, wasn't it, Jack? Oh, it was so cool. It was so cool. So many people came. So we, many people came. We set up a big rooftop screening on the top of the laundrette where we usually record the podcast. And basically, uh, what happened, listeners, uh, oh. is that... Everything went horribly wrong. It was just horribly wrong. It was just a total nightmare and a total mess. So we didn't have we didn't have rights to show the film that we showed. Nope. Um, Slap on the wrist there. Very ooh. illegal. And uh, the the sort of uh, contraption we'd built to house everyone uh, that 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 broke in in many ways. But but nobody died. Ferg said nobody died. I did say that, didn't I? Yeah, you did. And of course, the film we put on. Um, Unfortunately, was 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 Dark Squid. Well, it was the only name left in the hat. It, it was anyway. Basically, everything went wrong, and the, the, there's all this sort of chatter on on you know on social media and police radios yeah. about what was happening. And so we thought it was best to just get out of there. Um, and and we've just been sort of tiding over in this undisclosed foreign location and the sun's out and we're having such a brilliant time we thought it would be best to just hop out the country for a few weeks and just check out the sun check out the fun and just have a really nice break ferg but listeners even though we're away and we're having a good time it is important to say sorry and of course we already put out um, lots of press releases yeah. apologising for everything that happened. And now there's a lot of people, a lot of you guys have been coming back at us and you've been saying these, you know, these apologies, they're not, they're not, they're not real. They don't actually get to the heart of the issue. You're not actually apologising. You know, they're, they're just half apologies. Yeah. But we did put out 20 different statements. Um, so that's like, that's like 10 apologies. That's 10 apologies. It's all half apologies. Yeah. Got you there. Facts don't care about your feelings. Uh, so we fled the country, guys, and we will be back very soon because, of course, in about two and a half, three weeks, everyone seems to generally forget about whatever crimes you have done. Yeah, if you do a bad thing, yeah. just wait a couple of weeks. And then come back. That's the that's the, the axiom in which we all live. Because, listeners, ultimately, all bad things are in the past. You're right. Because, you know, th- there's no such thing as bad things in the future. You don't mm-hmm. know what's going to happen in the future. And if you ever do a bad thing, even as you're doing it, It's already moving into the past as you're doing it. And then it doesn't mean anything anyway. Exactly, because as soon as you finish doing it, it's in the past. And if something's in the past, it's not now, so it doesn't matter. And it's like, it's in the past. Just, it's oh, it it was yesterday, it was a minute ago. It was all time. We don't perceive time that has already happened now, so it's all the same length. So whether it happened 50 years ago or three minutes ago, things don't matter and time isn't, you know, even real. It's just things that supposedly happened according to memories. So basically, um, no one can do anything bad, particularly us. So just get over it, guys. So we're in this beautiful house in this small rural village yep. abroad. That's all we can say, because of course, if, 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 you, guys, if you guys know where we are, mm. you'll get us. You'll, you'll come and you'll find us. And you'll get us. But it is such a funny story of how we found this place. Yeah. Basically, we were sprinting out of the rooftop screen. Yep. As it was all going on, we just started. It was all going off. And Ferg was like, don't look back, Jack. No. Don't look at the contraption. Don't look at what has happened. And we went downstairs and Ferg was just rifling through things. He was grabbing jumpers. He was grabbing shirts from the laundrette. And then he reached in his pocket and he looked at some keys and he said... This was so weird, Ferg. You said, I've had these keys in my pocket for years. Mm. I've got no idea where they're from, Mm. but they have an address and a foreign country written on them. Yeah. So I was like, okie dokie, bro. Let's get going. Uh, And what we did was we went down to the docks. We stole a lifeboat. And we, and we paddled on uh, across the sea. Now, with these keys, listeners, um, something we've mentioned before that you might remember is, of course, that uh, Jack and I, 
Um, you know, yeah. we're big, we're proper Shark Man fans. We are. Which means, of course, we don't actually have any memories prior to the existence of the Shark Man franchise. Our first memory is seeing the first Shark Man film in 2012 in the cinema. I have no recollection of who I was before that. No. I've often tried to work it out. I've got a big cork board in my room at home with scraps of memories. I'm trying to piece it all together. Mm. But I've never really known. And, you know, I keep asking people, I keep asking people who I was. Mm. What did I used to do? Who did I used to be? Right, Ferg? Yeah. And... No one really gives me anything at all. I mean, mum won't tell me a thing. Obviously, Jack's still got his mum, but I don't I don't have a family. I'm pretty sure I never actually had a family. But anyway, I don't really care about who I used to be because, of course, you know, I know who I am now is so much better because I love Shark Man. Yeah, you've seen Shark the Shark Man, Man films. Shark Man films and I can see them and my, oh, that's all I need, that's all I want. I see where you're coming from, Ferg. I mean, a few weeks ago, I found out my dad was killed. But, uh, yeah. Don't remember that happening. So, yeah. Vast swathes of who I used to be mm -hmm, mm -hmm. are just completely missing from me. And that explains the keys. And so I've got these keys that I presumably had back from before I'd seen the Sharkman films, uh, which is funny to even think about. And I'd never really thought about them. I'd never really looked at them. They're just these, I don't know, they're just an item. Basically, they don't, they don't, they don't have Sharkman on them. Yeah. So I don't really see them. Yeah. I don't really, I tend to sort of, objects aren't really in my field of view if they don't have Shark Man on them. I, I can see them if I want to, but I have to really focus. Yeah, it's amazing watching you, Ferg. Your eyes are like tethered to different bits mm. of merchandise in the room yeah. and nothing much else. That's why, I mean, that's why I put stickers of Shark Man on everything I own yeah. if it doesn't yeah, already yeah, have yeah. Shark Man on it. Just for, just practically, I have to, it, it, it makes my life a lot easier. Anyway, so we got off the lifeboat. I had sunstroke. And Ferg was, he was so crusty, didn't have any water. I'm a pretty crusty guy at the best of times. Yeah, so Ferg was pretty used to it. But me, on the other hand, I got sunstroke. I had these horrific hallucinations about a world in which Shark Man didn't exist. Oh my God, don't even go there. Anyway, we got off onto the beach and we walked for miles until we found this village. Uh, Ferg found it, opened this door to this really big, lovely house. Mm. And there's a swimming pool. There's all these lovely paintings everywhere. Yeah, it's yeah. very tastefully furnished. And there's not anything to do with Shark Man in here, which is a bit weird. I don't understand why you'd own anything that didn't. Why would you have access to a house that has no Shark Man stuff in it? Yeah, I don't get that, Jack. And I can see how people would think this house is very nice and beautifully furnished. And there are these lovely watercolour paintings on the walls and all sorts of mahogany furniture. But like there was not, it's not, it doesn't have, it doesn't got, it's not Shark Man. So it's just bullshit. Anyway, we've pieced together some sort of rural existence in this village. I'm going out to the bakers every morning. I'm bringing back the croissants. And I was worried at first, Jack. Yeah. That being in this sort of remote tiny village in a foreign country yeah it would be like you know we'd be we'd be in this place where you know people don't even know about shark man mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um but everyone everyone here is obsessed with shark man as well of course thank god um, yeah exactly. it's just it's so it's yeah, so yeah, comforting yeah, yeah, yeah. actually coming yeah. out here because you think sometimes oh i'm just sort of in a little bubble of just yeah, shark yeah, man yeah, 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 but yeah. no it's really comforting to know that Every person everywhere, all over the world, Shark Man is a part of their lives. And Shark Man is intruding on their lives. And Shark Man is just, you know, I mean, they've got screens on the moon. It's swaddling them. In a beautiful velvet ravioli of content. And you know, folk, when we approached the town, when we saw it appear on the horizon, mm. folk, I was worried it would be a town full of, like, little... Butchers and little bakers and, you know, like, local shops. Yeah, like, quaint, nice things. Thank God everything has been hollowed out. It's a chain. It's all and chains. And just pumped with a uh, Shark Man chain food, Shark Man chain goods. And obviously, the old Basilica has been just absolutely transformed into a Shark Man merch store. You cannot escape his glorious empire. Anyway, Ferg, boring. Who cares about us? Let's get on with some Shark Man content. Let's get to it. So guys, today's latest news, they finally cast the new actor to play Shark Man. So exciting. They've cast him, he's off, he's shooting the next movie right now. How exciting. What do you think of the choice they made, Jack? Well, Ferg, we don't know his name and no. we don't know what he looks like mm. and we probably never will. Obviously, there's a picture of him here on the press release wearing a gold mask, as it's normal for actors to wear in interviews. And um, even when he's in the film, we probably won't really make out his face because, yeah. 
because the films are just there's just so much going on you can yeah, barely yeah, even yeah, make yeah. anything you, out you can't see it you know there's sometimes I'm sitting I'm watching a Sharkman film Ferg, and I'm like I can't watch this my eyes hurt anyway this is the news that they've cast the new Sharkman actor they haven't told us his name they haven't told us anything about that of course this casting comes after the tragic accident that happened back in Sharkman 10 yeah very sad very sad during filming for Sharkman 10 uh, the actor yeah. playing Sharkman well, it came, it came to the point in filming, well, it was the last thing they shot, actually. Yeah, as usual. As usual, they filmed, you know, the big stunt. Yeah. The big stunt yeah. that Sharkman does in every film, Sharkman's one through ten, he always does the big stunt, and yeah. it always comes at the same point in the film, yeah. and it adds to it, and then, you know, you're sat in the audience, and you all go, there it is, the big stunt. You all say that in You'll say that out loud. Yeah. Just tradition, isn't it? And they were filming it, and, um, and, and, and something <sighs> yeah. went wrong. Yeah. Um, and the actor playing Sharkman sadly was killed yeah. on set. Um, R.I.P. R.I.P. And it was just such a really tragic, unexpected thing to happen. Mm-hmm. The whole fam community was left really shaken. Yeah. Um, and and you know, and it's made even worse by the fact that this exact same thing has happened every film. Every time they film the stunt, the Sharkman actor has always died in the exact same way. Um, Total tragedy. And the thing is, Ferg. There's no answer. These things are always going to happen. And that's sad. And this is a dangerous stunt, Ferg. Yes. And it does look really good in the movie. It always looks brilliant. I think we can agree that it looks really good in the movie. And it's always made so much more moving by the fact that you know, every time you see it, that actor has you're like, died. You're like, I know he died. And they always keep in the moment where the actor dies. Yeah, like an Easter egg. It's always the, it's always the take they use. Yeah. Anyway... Um, best of luck to the 11th actor to play Shark Man. Yeah. I hope he's in more than one film, Ferg. I'm sure he will be, Jack. You know, these other ones, it's just a coincidence. It's not going to happen again. Whoa, it's such a nice day here, Ferg. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. Do you want to come down to the beach with me? Uh, no, no, I'm good, I'm good. Are you sure the sun's about to set? We can come back to this in a minute. No, I've got I've got some stuff to do. You sure? Yeah, Ferg? yeah. Okay, I'm going to put my swimming trunks on. Uh, listeners, you can't see them, but they're really good. Basically, what's happening? What yeah, they've got. Basically, uh, I'm trying to have what how to describe like a, what's um. Uh, it's like a basically, ma- they've got Shark Man on them. Yeah, that's it. Okay, gonna gonna have a quick swim, Ferg. Just make the most of it before the sun sets. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Oh my god, Ferg! Oh my god, I ran right back here. Oh, you're oh. right. Yeah, I was... Okay, so um, I went down to the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dipped my foot into the water, jumped out again. It was very cold. Yeah. Uh, and then I thought, well, I'm outside now. It's still sunny, so I'm just going to walk along the beach. And I went further no. than I've ever gone before, Fer. Oh, right. I went further than I've ever gone before, and I got to this big ridge, and I started climbing the ridge, and I climbed over right. into this small cove. Yeah. And it turned out... What? It's the cove where they shot Beach Dog. No. Are you no, sure? I'm 100 percent sure. It looks exactly the same. And they've left all the stuff around. So there's like old bits of rig and there's like old cameras. Yeah, yeah. And you know, you know in Beach Dog, yeah. do you know how Beach Dog dies? In the storm. Yeah. When the pole from the end of the volleyball thing spins off and stabs him through the heart. Well folk, well folk, Beach Dog is still there. What? Yeah, they just had all this Beach Dog stuff and I guess they just forgot about it. The spear is through his heart, he's pinned to the sand, and he's still alive. Did you get a pick with him? Yeah, I did. Oh, nice. I was going to free him, but then I thought, bit of cinema history there. Yeah, you don't want to mess. It's like an exhibit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think people give him little treats. He stays alive, can't move. Blood on the sand. Blood on the sand. Funny, Ferg, you know, it's funny, like, when those franchises come out, when a big film comes out like that, how quickly we forget about it after it's out. Yeah. Anyway, rush back here. You have to go before we leave. You have to go. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I'll see if I get around to it. Um, Anyway, what have you been up to? Uh, Not much. Just doing, you know, normal stuff. I actually found, you know, we were saying... How there's no sort of sharp man stuff in this yeah, house. Yeah, so weird. And it's all boring, and there's those, you know, those uh, quote unquote beautiful watercolor paintings, but they don't have sharp man in them. Um, I actually, when I was I was headed to the toilet, I was I noticed something in, down the corridor. Yeah. You know that thing I do all the time back in my flat, yeah. where I try and I try and work <laughs> out the 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 timeline of the sharp man. Yeah, you're movies. always doing that. You're always yeah, yeah. trying to work out. So the I timeline. always I get like a big. But it doesn't make any sense, folk. The timeline doesn't make any sense. I mean, that's why it's such a challenge, yeah. you know. Um, and also, I have to make it. I have to make it make sense. I have to. I won fifty wikis. Anyway, so obviously, what I do is I get like a big piece of paper and I draw a big line down it, and I'm you know put dashes on it and like little bits of writing trying to work out this film set in the fifties, this film set backwards, all of that. Yeah. Um, and it looks like 
whoever was in this house before used to do that as well. Oh, cool. So what there is, is instead of doing it on a bit of paper, they've done it on like on the inside of one of the doorways. Yeah. Um, up the inside of the doorway, there's like lots of horizontal lines drawn across in pencil. Oh, that's interesting. Um, and like next to each of the lines, there's like a little, you know, a lot of the lines have got an F written next to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and some of the, there's a bunch of other letters next to all the other lines. Right. Um, I'm presuming that's some sort of code for, you know, whatever, however they were categorizing the films. Yeah. Anyway, it's just nice to know there's actually a bit of history to this place that I can actually connect with, you know? Oh, phew, folk, that's so cool about the timeline. This place was kind of like starting to freak me out, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It's like obviously lovely, but also no Sharp Man stuff at all. It was almost like it was haunted. Mm. Like, like, like haunted by a lack of references to big screen entertainment. Anyway, Jack, uh, sorry, let's get back to recording the podcast. I'm just going to get rid of get rid of all these tabs. So Ferg, I can... are you looking at all the hate tweets and the hate mail again? I told you you've got to disengage. No. I know there's been this big Twitter storm and people are saying horrible things about us online, but you just need to disengage. You just need to log off and stop letting it upset you. Upset me? Yeah, yeah, I can tell. It's getting you down. What do you mean it's getting me down? Jack, I've never felt more alive in my life. Don't you realise, Jack, this is great for the podcast. What do you mean great for the podcast? Everyone's saying horrible things. I've got so many death threats in my DMs. It's all about just coordinating it. Jack, we have been trending so hard the whole week. You don't get trending because people like the thing you've done or whatever. You get trending because you've done something horrible. Oh my God, that's so true. Yeah, exactly, Jack. So what I've been doing, um, you know, this is why I've been cooped up in it all week, is I've been, you know, making a lot of posts saying like, fuck you guys, no regrets. Um, and sort of doing a lot of things where it looks like we're going to do a proper apology, um, but then we don't do a proper apology. So it's all about sort of keeping the discourse rolling. I've got like a like a two day cycle that I've been sort of been looping, whether it's because obviously sometimes something else comes up, and because all the time other people are doing horrible things as well. Oh my and god! And they start to trend. So what I do is I whip everyone up into a frenzy in order to get us trending again. Um, oh my god! I'm such an idiot. You're such an idiot. I'm Jack. such an idiot. I thought the answer was to log off, but it's to retweet. Re- it's to absolutely engage. So how are you doing it, Ferg? So as well as posting as us, um, what I've also been doing, Jack, is actually making lots of fake accounts and posting hate messages about the podcast. Um, I've been making petitions saying, fuck just another Shark Man podcast, right. get it shut down. Yeah. I've been sending you a lot of death threats. Oh, that's I've been that's sending you. myself some death threats just to just to, just to to be sure. Yeah, yeah. that's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, because, I mean, the more people are tweeting about us yeah. and the more hatred there is out there for yeah. us, basically, the more downloads we're going to get, the better we're going to do. Um, big content, big trending, love Shark Man, Shark Man movies, social media. Ferg, I've never heard anyone put it so succinctly. That's brilliant. I mean, Jack... There are entire Facebook groups, anti Just Another Shout Man Facebook groups, yeah. where every member of the group is me under a different account. That's brilliant, Ferg. Running a podcast is hard work, Jack. You've got to work the social media. You've got to network. You've got to use the hashtags. Oh, Ferg, that makes me feel like an idiot. Why's that? Well, I've been trying to boost the podcast as well, you know, like do my bit on Instagram and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And so what I've been doing is I've been going around all the neighbouring villages. And you know how every village in the world has a statue of the Shark Man CEO in the centre? Yeah, obviously. Well, I was just visiting these different villages. Yeah, yeah. And I was taking photos of each one of the statues. And I was being like, is this one going to be different? You know, like yeah, yeah. like on the story, I was like, question mark, like what's going to change? Mm, yeah, no, you know, I saw, they, yeah. But they're all the same. They're all the same. Anyway, I feel like a total idiot. I feel like I've not been useful at all. No, Jack, don't be so hard on yourself. Because you know what? What? When it comes to producing that sweet, sweet social media content, mm. it's important that every now and again, there's a bit of content that isn't completely filled to the brim with hate. If we don't have those little moments of lightness, then the hate means nothing. You're right. Thanks, Ferg. That makes me feel a lot better. Well, Ferg, you know, I don't think I've ever been in a house with so many books. I don't so think weird. I've ever been in a house with any books. Yeah, look, there's so many. I don't recognise any of these names. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that... What? Hey, do you think this thing's got anything to do with Treasure Mountain and Treasure Hole? What, Treasure Mountain, the film where Shark Man gets all the treasure he's yeah, accumulated yeah, yeah. over Bill's previous films. Yeah, yeah, Builds the big films. mountain. Yeah, and then Treasure Hole is the sequel where he says, actually, no, I'm going to put it in a hole. Well, this and one's was... called Treasure Island. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe that's, is it like a straight-to-DVD release? Oh, no, sorry, yeah, no, no, it's, no, it's a, a book. book, yeah. It's a book. No. no, no, it's just about, pir- just about pirates. Oh, like the pirates from Shark Man? No. Different pirates? Different pirates. Oh. Yeah, sorry, uh, oh, I'll tell you what is fun to talk about. Yeah. That the listeners might enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Foreign Shark Man merch shops. Oh, 
They're brilliant. So there's the one in the big cathedral in town. Great. Obviously, we went in. Fergus is the only time he came out of the blooming house. Yeah, yeah. Well, you said we'd get some merch. And we did. And we did. We anyway, tell them about it. lots of merch. Tell them about it, yeah. So you come in and you look about and the yeah. ceiling's so high and there's these tall stained glass windows. Great, yeah. And they depict Shark Man just like chucking sharks. Standard. Throwing sharks out of his hand. And... You see the shark like travel all the way across the different stained glass windows in the mm. depiction, and then you look and you look and you look at the end. Yeah, and it's hitting Doctor Dinosaur in the face. Oh, so classic. good. Otherwise, everything was exactly the same as every other merch store in yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, for when there's something slightly different, just some superficial thing. Yeah, something really tiny. It makes it feel like a whole new, brand new, fresh thing, even though it's not at all. Anyway, Ferg, the context different. So. I wanted to go to the beach, so I bought some Sharkman swimming trunks, which, you know, I do own at home. Mm. But, but you bought them in a different shop. I bought them in a different shop. Even though it's the same shop, but it yeah. is kind of a different shop. It's a kind of different shop. It's in a different place. Yeah, anyway, it felt good, you know, buying things. It does. Particularly when, what I really like, actually. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but when you uh, get and you pay for something with the money. Yeah, at the Sharkman store. At the Sharkman store, and they give it to you, and it's got, like, it's got, like, Sharkman on it. Yeah. You I, like that? There's something about that. I guess it's because I like Shark Man. Yeah. Anyway, I just I just find it really interesting. No, because so it's good. like I don't want to get too deep here, listeners. Mm. But it's like when you think about it, it's like that. Uh, it um it uh, so it's got Shark Man on it. And and, it's, and that's good. And it's good because of um because Shark because of Shark Man because when he does his little his little wink in the films yeah and yeah, he's yeah. got the sharks yeah so fun. Anyway, we spent hundreds and hundreds of a currency I can't tell you. And you know, sometimes with currencies, it's like you can spend hundreds and hundreds of that currency and it's like not very much money. Yes. But with this, it's like it was a lot of money. No, it's quite similar. The exchange rate's not that far off pounds. Yeah. It's actually a lot worse, I think. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I would say we kind of spent, we spent thousands of pounds, didn't we? Uh, Let me just do the numbers. Uh, Yes, we spent an absolute shit ton of money on merch. High five. So that's the show today, listeners. And remember, keep that hate mail coming in. Send it to sharpmanpodcast at gmail.com. The more horrible and significant the entire atmosphere surrounding the thing we did was, the quicker it'll pass and everyone will forget. Right, should we do some emails, Ferg? Should we do a couple? Yeah, just a couple of emails before we... Let me, let me find some. Yeah, yeah. Oh, should I just move this book so you can open your laptop yeah, yeah. better? I'll just put it... It was on the shelf here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. What was oh, that? It was like uh, something just fell out of it. Was that something of yours? No. It's like a... It's like a little... Le- it's a little card or something. Oh. What? Is this something... This definitely isn't something of yours, Jack, is No, it? that's not mine. You didn't write this? No. Oh, because it's addressed to me. What does it say your name on it? Yeah. Yeah, it says, uh... Dear Fergus, sending all our love to you on your 13th birthday. We remember when you were just a little baby. So wide-eyed, so awake to the world. I remember holding you and thinking that you could be anything. Now our little boy is all grown up. Run upstairs and look under your bed. I hope you like what we've left there for you. Happy birthday. Love, Mum and Dad. Oh. Yeah, I'm... I remember... I was in this house. And... There was... I, I, I opened this... And there was a present under my bed, and it was, um, it was a, it was like a, it was like a set of, um, watercolour paints. It was like a set of, of, of watercolours. What? Yeah. Sorry, what did you say? I was just on Instagram. The top of the TV is moving. I saw a serpent in the TV screen. I went to sleep, but nothing changed. Inside a normal dream A normal day inside a normal dream A normal day inside a normal dream Fisher Price, take my soul 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 
This has been Just Another Sharkman podcast, starring Jack Bradfield as Jack and Fergus MacDonald as Fergus. Music and editing by Fergus MacDonald. Artwork by Neve Simpson. This song, Fisher Price Take My Soul, is by Hospital Radio, and you can hear more of their music at their band camp. Tune in again for more Sharkman news tomorrow. Has opened up again. Yeah, the cut on my left has opened up again. Yeah, the cut on my left has opened up again. Fisher Price, take my soul. Fisher Price, take my soul. Fisher Price, take my soul. Fisher Price, take my soul.